This lesson is all about linear equation in two variables. A linear equation in two variables have many sets of ordered pair that satisfies the equation. Sa lesson na to, meron tayong dalawang objectives. Una, to determine whether the given ordered pair satisfies the equation. And the pangalawa, find at least two ordered pairs that satisfy the equation. Okay, now let's start. Find at least two ordered pairs that satisfy the equation 2x plus 4y equals 3. Okay, and this is our solution. Una, mag assign tayo ng value ng x. And then, pangalawa, isasubstitute natin yung value ng x doon sa equation. And then, pangatlo, isosolve natin yung value ng y. Okay, our given is 2x plus 4y equals 3. And then, we will going to find at least two ordered pairs from the given equation. Para makakuha tayo ng ordered pair sa equation, ang gagawin natin, mag-a-assign tayo ng value ng x. So, sa example na to, ang pinili kong value ng x ay 1. And then, pangalawang step, isasubstitute ko yung value ng x na 1 doon sa given equation natin na 2x plus 4y equals 3. So, papalitan ko yung x, yung variable na x, ng 1. So, ang equation natin ngayon is 2 times 1 plus 4y equals 3. And then, isi-simplify natin. 2 times 1 equals 2. Then, now we have the new equation, 2 plus 4y equals 3. Okay, and the third step is to solve for the value of y. Okay, so ang gagawin natin ngayon, since we have 2 plus 4y equals 3, kailangan nating ilipat yung constant doon sa may uh, right side at iiwan yung may variable na y sa may left side. Okay, so ito yung gagawin ko para matanggal ko yung 2 dito sa my left side at malipat siya doon sa right side. Ang gagawin ko is magsusubtract ako ng negative 2 sa left and right side ng equation. Okay, and now we have 2 plus 4y minus 2 equals 3 minus 2. And then isisimplify natin, 2 minus 2 equals 0. So ang may iwan lang is 4y. And 3 minus 2 equals 1. And our equation now is 4y equals 1. Ang next na step ay isosolve natin yung value ng y. Okay, para masolve yung value ng y, um, imumultiply lang natin siya both side ng equation ng 1 fourth. Okay, saan nakuha yung 1 fourth? Ito yung reciprocal ng coefficient na 4. Okay, next, imumultiply natin yung 1 4 times 4y. Okay, pag nagmumultiply tayo ng my fraction, minumultiply natin yung numerator sa numerator, denominator sa denominator. Okay, recall lang natin na ang denominator ng whole number is always 1. So, ang 4y, ang denominator ng 4y is 1. Okay, so we multiply 1 times 4y equals 4y. And then, 4 times 1, which is the denominator ng 4y, it is equal to 4. So, we have 4y over 4. And then, sa right side, 1 fourth times 1. So, ang denominator ng 1 is 1. Okay, now we multiply 1 times 1 equals 1 and 4 times 1 equals 4. Okay, now we have 1 over 4. Okay, next, simplify. 4y divided by 4 is equal to y. Makakancel ang 4. Then, it is equal to 1 fourth. So, the answer is, the value of y is 1 over 4. Okay, nakuha na natin yung value ng x, which is 1. Ang y is 1 fourth. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong ordered pair na 1 and 1 fourth, which is, na-satisfy niya yung equation natin na 2x plus 4y equals 3. So now, sa equation natin na 2x plus 4y equals 3, meron na tayong isang ordered pair, which is ang ordered pair natin is 1 and 1 fourth. Okay, now let's find another ordered pair for the linear equation 2x plus 4y equals 3. Okay, ngayon naman, mag-a-assign ako ng value ng x na negative 2. Same lang ang step na gagawin natin. So, isasubstitute natin yung value ng x na negative 2 doon sa may variable na x. Okay? So, now we have 2 times negative 2 
which is pinalitan natin yung x ng negative 2 plus 4y equals 3. And then, isisimplify natin 2 times negative 2 equals negative 4. Then, now we have negative 4 plus 4y equals 3. So, ang gagawin natin para ma-solve yung y, ililipat natin yung negative 4 doon sa right side ng equation at maiiwan yung may variable na y sa may left side ng equation. Okay, para matanggal ang negative 4 sa right side, ang gagawin ko is mag a ako ng 4 sa left and right side ng equation. So, now we have negative 4 plus 4y plus 4 equals 3 plus 4. Okay, and then simplify, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So, ang may iwan lang ay 4y. And then, 3 plus 4 equals 7. So, ang new equation natin ngayon is 4y equals 7. And then, isasolve natin yung value ng y. So, 4y equals 7. So, ang gagawin ko para makancel yung 4 at maiwan lang yung y is multiply ko both side ng equation ng 1 fourth. Okay? Saan ko nakuha yung 1 fourth? Ito yung reciprocal ng 4. Okay, nang coefficient na 4. Okay, now we multiply 1 fourth and 4y. So, pag nagmumultiply tayo ng fraction, minumultiply natin yung numerator sa numerator, denominator sa denominator. So, again, 4y, ang denominator ng 4y is 1. Okay, 1 times 4y equals 4y over 4. So, now we have 4y over 4 equals... Okay, sa right side ng equation, multiply natin yung 1 fourth sa 7. So, ang denominator ng 7 is 1. Therefore, we have 1 times 7 equals 7 over 4. So, now we have 7 over 4. Next, simplify 4y divided by 4. It is equal to y. So, makakancel na yung 4. Equals 7 over 4. So, again, ang value ng y is 7 over 4. Okay, if ang value ng x natin is negative 2, ang value ng y ay 7 over 4. So, ang ordered pair natin is negative 2 and 7 over 4. So, ang ordered pair na negative 2 and 7 over 4 satisfies the equation 2x plus 4y equals 3. So, that is how to find ordered pairs that satisfy the given equation. Okay, next, determine whether the given ordered pair satisfy the equation. Okay, so this time, given ang ordered pair, and then yung ordered pair na yun, isasubstitute natin sa equation, titingnan natin kung masasatisfy ang equation or hindi. Okay, now let's have an example. Determine if the ordered pair, positive 2, negative 1, satisfies the equation 3x minus y equals 7. Okay, again, ang ordered pair natin is positive 2, negative 1. So, ang x dito is 2, ang y is negative 1. So, and then, yan ang isasubstitute natin sa value ng x at saka y ng equation na 3x minus y equals 7. Okay, now we have 3x, yung x papalitan natin ng 2, minus y, Yung y palitan natin ng negative 1, then equals 7. So, now we have 3 times 2 minus negative 1 equals 7. Okay, now simplify. 3 times 2 equals 6. And then, minus negative 1. Or, i-distribute lang natin yung sign. Yung negative times negative equals positive. Therefore, we have positive 1. Okay, and then we have 6 plus 1 equals 7. 6 plus 1 is 7. So, 7 equals 7 is correct or true. So, hence, the ordered pair positive 2, negative 1 satisfies the given equation. Okay, now let's try another ordered pair. Determine if the ordered pair positive 1, positive 5 satisfies the equation 3x minus y equals 7. Okay, again, ang value ng x natin is 1. Ang value ng y is 5. And then, yun yung isasubstitute natin doon sa variable na x and y ng equation natin na 3x minus y equals 7. Now, 3x, yung x palitan natin ng 1. Minus y, yung y palitan ng 5. 
So, now we have 3 times 1 minus 5 equals 7. So, 3 times 1 equals 3 minus 5 equals 7. So, now we have 3 minus 5 equals negative 2 equals 7. Okay, now negative 2 equals 7 is not correct. Okay, this is false. Hence, the ordered pair positive 1, positive 5 not satisfies the given equation 3x minus y equals 7. Okay, so that is how to determine whether the given ordered pair satisfies the equation or not. And that's